Many of the germs, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Adults, please. Adults, please. Turn it up. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. It's Radio BAM. Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, Master, welcome to another episode. It's a wintry mix. Oh, oh, fool. Novak. Brandon Novak is here live. Of course. <laughs> to join with Brandon Margera. Bam Margera, I'm so sorry. No, we got three Brandons in the room. Oh, shit. Yes. I just played a lot of tonight. Yes. We have three Brandons in the room now, but we were just discussing before we went on air. We got Brandon Novak, Brandon DiCamello, and Brandon Margera. <laughs> yeah, That's my real name, ladies guys. and gentlemen. But uh, 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 thank God we got our names because we were just talking. You wouldn't have been talking to three Brandons. If our parents had our way with us, our names would have been Dico, what were they going to name you? Oh, fuck it, Shad. I hate that. Shad? <laughs> I hate it. Yo, Bam, what were they going to name you? Phil was going to name me Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's like a sidewalk surfer and a longboard with bare feet. <laughs> Luke. Luke. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if, like, the show would be any good if it was no. called Evil of Luke with people watching. <laughs> You'd be doing bong hits in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one for starters? Whoa. We all would have hated each other in school. Like, fuck that Chad kid. Luke, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> my father Here's was the best of it all. My... Uh, if, you, if you don't know uh, Brandon Novak, um, his dad is hooked on crack and he uh, lit his... Um, he got this $900,000 house. He lit it on fire due to crack. So um, <laughs> when, when Brandon was seven years old, we just found out now that his dad went to the fucking bureau office and... Tried to change his name to Jerome. <laughs> Fucking Jerome. Isn't that what At your dad's seven. name is? Yeah, my dad's name's Jerome, and his dad's name's Jerome. He would have thought if he was maybe sober, he would have got this it's when I was too born. too late, guy. Stop hitting the pipe and get your mind in order. You don't change your son's name at fucking seven, at brother. At seven. Seven years old. He's on crack. <laughs> My mother works in the hospital. She's one of the smartest ladies ever. She almost had a heart attack when he heard she, she asked me that. Who? My the mother. Fuck named your dad Jerome. Oh, who the fuck? <laughs> His dad. Your dad's a caucasoid? His dad. His dad. <laughs> Yo, it's a family Is your name. grandfather all hopped up as well? Nah, man, he was a successful business guy. He oh. was a ladies' man, boy. He was, was a successful business guy here at the general. Dude, well, he was then, a ladies' man big time. I think that's where I get my class from. God damn, Wait, your dad that. or your grandpa? My grandpa. And both of them. My dad just didn't have money. He like he does what I do. He just sells dreams to get ladies. But my grandfather had the money to back up his talk. How the? Wh why is he all hopped up? Like, how old is he? He's like 50, 60 now? Uh, I don't, he's, he's still hopped 60. up on crack? Why? Uh, dude, I thought it was over, right? I thought this fucking me this mayhem was over and done with. I get a call from my mother the other day. He's homeless on the street smoking crack, right? He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> he has so no... Doesn't sound like a joke? Like, it's just like, this, yeah, that's you're serious. crack. No, he really is. I crack. took Bam to Baltimore. In a wheelchair? And Bam, what did we in see? A what did we see when I took you to the ghetto of Baltimore? He took me to the ghetto of Baltimore just to see, like, where he shot dope for all those years and stuff one time <laughs> when we were tour. driving around. We turned the corner... Here's his, like, haggard-ass dad in a wheelchair on the corner, like, looking for money. D didn't he what? used to have shitloads of money? Dude, he was fucking loaded. He owned a rancher, he owned a hot tub, he owned a pool. <laughs> a rancher and a hot tub. I was waiting it's for a like, rancher. A rancher is, like, a one-level home in the county with, like, acres of land, but it's a, it's a one-level thing. What did he do? He sold drugs. <laughs> But like, he's always been in drugs. He's never had one job in his life. He, he never had one job. Never in his had one life. job. He used to drive a Cadillac, wear the fucking tilted brim hats. Slick dude, man. I thought he was the slickest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> Slice bread. You're the scare <laughs> pig. Dude. Yeah. Why? I got. I gotta know. Why is he in a wheelchair? Because. <laughs> Is he just lazy from the A crack? drug deal went bad one day, and the fucking drug dealers decided to have their way with his sweet old leg. And now really? he gets, yeah. Just this one like that. And then I have my life. So listen, so listen. Just one life. He fucking, I, my mother calls, right? Now we know he's in the neighborhood and he's getting high roaming the streets, but he doesn't know where my mother lives. She lives about 15 blocks from where he's getting high. He shows up at the door with two large black men who kick the goddamn door in and basically tie my mother's boyfriend up and ransack the house for all the cash. My mom gets the phone somehow, calls the police. Don't you hate your mom's boyfriend though? Well, I don't hate him, he hates me. 
So <laughs> you give a fuck that he? Nah, because he out? treats her way better than anyone has ever treated my mother. She's happy. But when I go there, like I'll t I took Hannah there and Oz, they introduced each other. He says not a word to me. It's the most awkward thing in the world. I just stand there like a fucking mute. <laughs> a mute. <laughs> mute. So, so and, and then didn't like Hannah start talking about like uh, something that he's into? Oh, planes, 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 planes and boats, airplanes. Planes and boats. Yeah, because we went on a private jet from this uh, this guy, uh, Dick Hackman. He owns the Phoenix Suns. He owns uh, Brass Eagle paintball guns. He owns a water company. He owns fucking uh, Shakespeare K2. satellites. K two and. Just so happens to own audio shoes, which I ride for. So oh, yeah. he let me use his private jet for a little while, and uh, I took Novak along with me. So, but he went back to his house to tell his mom about the private jet. He had all these like, pictures and stuff. He had pictures of it, and like his mom's boyfriend is all in the planes. He's like, oh, is that a, a three fifty? I turbo <laughs> your jet so now, really like all into it. <laughs> Hannah and Oz are at the computer looking shit up online and stuff. And then when I left, my mother's like. Salvador was amazed at your friends because he looks at me as a low life steal your fucking pocketbook when you turn your head type guy. Oh yeah. And I bring these guys who know how to work computers and shit. I think he's getting a little respect for me. He heard the radio show the other day. He thought I was really funny. He heard it? Yeah. Did bring a CD down? Yeah, I gave a CD to my mother. Ah. I'm sure she loved that. You're, you're Which one did you give him? Uh, Both the one what? less perverted. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you can't give her this one because I'm about to talk about how this fucking idiot brings home some like 15 year old last uh, night. Great sex. <laughs> here? Or <laughs> no, 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 not here. Dude, she was like, At her she, she was like 18, dude. Yeah, she's she 18. She snuck into Kildare's last night and uh, <laughs> For him. we found that out like after the fact when she was like driving away. By the way, I'm 18. How uh, the fuck did you get to Kildare's? I guess you could get in on like a random Tuesday. Or of something. course you fucked her. Oh, that's to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I caught you. Dude, out to have I fucked her in every position, and then I'm like, Kirk. wait, I gotta go talk to my buddy. I go get Bam, I'm like, Bam, let's set this camera up immediately. <laughs> and he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, we can't do it in the house, it's illegal. I'm like, okay, you're right, you know, a lot of shit can get lost. So I'm like, well, have to sign a waiver. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, she will sign a waiver. So then, I, like, I brought her up having rough sex, and he's just standing at the door, the door's shut, and he's listening. <laughs> what? Listen to him whisper. So, turn uh, that part up if you're listening on his yeah. he taped it. Well, I didn't turn it up. No. Uh, I got a, I got an email from like Roger that says Bam is everywhere. I click on it. Oh yeah. And I got it's, that. it's this like it's this porno of this chick, but she's wearing a Bam shirt yeah. while she's getting ran. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, he just sent me the picture. Saw that didn't too? play. Yeah, it didn't play, but it was just pictures. I was laughing my ass off. Uh, why can't I find a girl like that that has his shirt on? Because that means that I can fuck her, and she's a dirty horse. What if she had a Dream Seller shirt on? Oh, the man. heroin chic. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, if she has your shirt on, I'm good enough, man. You know, I'll just play off you with your shirt, you know, so I don't even fucking need a shirt at this point. Fuck, man, you can pretty much pass for being me. Look, Dude, yeah, it's so we, annoying. he's rocking the goatee, same haircut. He doesn't have any clothes of his own, so he goes into fucking yeah. my wardrobe and wears all my shit. He drives around my Hummer. <laughs> he goes to all the places oh, that I go I went to 7-Eleven yeah. today. A cop pulls up to me. I'm like, oh, shit, it's going down. I'm going away. He goes, <laughs> how so fast bad. you had that Lamborghini up to? And I don't want to be an ass, so I'm trying to kiss the cop's ass because I don't want him to start asking questions about me. Yeah, about 130, 120. It's like, but that's it, man. You should have that bitch up to like 140, 150. This is a cop telling me. He thinks it's bam. <laughs> then the cop pulls away. Another truck pulls up. And I'm he just looks. telling him that I'm illegally speeding. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm not going to some fucking raceway Atco shit. Like, you go to 202. I'm going to, I'm going to Route 202 and hitting the gas. <laughs> he told me where to go to. He said, Route 1, there's this new straightaway. It's great. What? That's what he told me, the cop. Swear to God. Where on Route I 1? I think Route 1. I'm almost positive. Yeah, there's I a do, lot of straightaways on Route 1. But he that's said, just watch out for the state. He's probably trying he, to get my ass caught. He called. said, watch out for the state troopers. That's what he told me. <laughs> yeah, man, I just got a new, I got a, I got a hot car, man. Oh, shit. Purple Lambo. Oh, yeah, that's fucking I've been, sweet. I've been cruising around for the past two days. Dude. I'm going to play a song devoted to the Lambo. Yeah. Is it called uh, Novak's Button Up Mock this actually a, <laughs> <laughs> This is a different kind of song because we don't really play this kind of music, but I like it. It's called The band's called Square Pusher, and it's called Red Hot Car. On Radio Bam Sears 28 Facts. You have several of those things. Yeah, now back to Radio Bam thing. On. How the fuck you say it? Is it serious? Yeah. <laughs> On Sirius 28 Faction. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what the fuck that was. It wasn't Novak's dad, Jerome, because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> You're an asshole, geek. <laughs> hey, what song was that, Biggs? That was uh, Square Pusher. That was like a, 
probably the most mellow song that we've ever played on this radio station so far. Yeah. Yeah. We were relaxed while I was playing. We were talking yeah, nicely. Yeah. We, you know, we got to know each other, a little bonding. Yeah, it was I cool. Like that. <laughs> hey, why is your dad in a wheelchair? Because he was a drug addict and he couldn't afford a drug bill, so they fucking made sure he afforded it one way or another. Yeah, but get to the real details of why his legs don't work. They be one leg doesn't work, they beat the shit out of him, and I don't know in specifics if they broke it or That's if they had to. crutches when one leg don't work. He, I, I know, know he's just in a wheelchair because of his legs. They beat up because he owed drug money and he couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I was following right in his footsteps and saw nothing wrong with it, man. What was yeah, wrong what with me? Boy, I know. You probably just weren't. Dude, yeah. I, I, whenever I started thinking in reality, I hurried up and shot up because then I could forget about reality. That's why it was hard to quit, Deke. You're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> weird is, is, yeah, is good. Weirdo. Coming from Deke Camello. He went to a fucking opera land. He went to a goddamn How fucking old are you? orchestra. He went to an opera. Yeah, really? opera. Well, come on, opera boy. Orchestra. Tell us about it. I'll tell you about it. Dude, I would rather stand on my hands and come in my mouth than just watch a fucking opera. <laughs> it's not an opera. <laughs> Me too. No, I'm not going to the opera. Or I'd I don't want to see some orchestration dude, fucking sitting there like... It's fucking did awful. You have, did you bring your like, little pair of yeah, little glasses? The yeah, little binoculars you hold yeah, up so you can see? No. He was wearing his Yo, glasses. give us a playback of something you heard. Do something for us. What do you want me to fucking hum it? Yeah, yeah. sit no, it was Come on, dude. Fuck off Jess will hum it. Jess will do it. He'll know about it. If you don't know about that, he knows his third song. He'll sing the whole shit. I'll sing it. Good. <laughs> no backstab. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. What do you want from me? What am I going to sing 30 instruments? You fucking ass. I just want you to serenade me. That's all. I'll fucking serenade you with my semen, you sick man. <laughs> I'll take it. You Baltimore trash can. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking garbage You're can. a Baltimore liar. <laughs> You're a garbage bag. Baltimore liar. <laughs> Dad, I am, a, I am from Baltimore, and I do tend to stretch the truth a bit, so I could be right. Are you going to bring some strippers up here? Oh, Baltimore? yeah. I went to Baltimore, right? Oh, yeah. Is, I was in Baltimore a couple days Dude, ago. you asked me to take him to a strip club. Oh, oh, man. I want him to take me to Baltimore where I can get tons of street creds and get all these bitches that wouldn't <laughs> fuck me before because the millionaire is with me or to a strip joint where I can as well get a lot of bitches because he's with me. And he, I just need him with me on a trip because he acts all home bam when he's home. Road Bam and Home Bam are two different people. I got Home Muscle right now. <laughs> he's on Home Muscle. When he's Road Muscle, party on. Yeah, yeah. No, Mac, did you ever get... I know you've been with disgusting women and did all sorts yes. of garbage. Did you, uh, did you ever get Road Salad? What's that? That bitch licked my ass last night. <laughs> While you're thing? driving, though. No, dude. I, how could the bitch get under there? <laughs> how could she get under there? I gotta there? keep my foot on the pedal, man. It's impossible. Hey, do you know what else? It's impossible, right, man? Yeah. Okay, you've never had that done. I'm just asking. I didn't say I did. Dico had it, it done. Dico's like an undercover. Dico had it done. Man. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what a rusty trombone is? What is it? No. <laughs> it's when a girl eats your ass and jerks you off. Really? Because <laughs> 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 your asshole's all brown like rusty. <laughs> 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 a rusty trombone. Yeah, oh, God. God. It's fucking nasty. My cell phone guy told me that. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Rab gave a shitler to these Finnish guys. You know what a shitler is? No. It's, it's, dude, Rab stuck his finger up his butthole, and then, uh. and then he rubbed it right on, like, the oh, nose. Like a Hitler mustache. So you have a Hitler mustache yeah. of poop. Yeah. yeah. He did it to these Finnish guys when we went to Mexico. How they feel about that? Were they cool? They laughed Well, off? they're, like, fucking... Like Steve O type, uh, so they just kind of laughed it off. You know? Yo, Dunn didn't see once. It. it was the sickest thing ever. Dude, Dunn's butt reeks. Ah, uh, he put it on my <laughs> nose and then in my mouth. <laughs> I smelled it. I smelled it in my mouth. It was like, sick. I remember that. Dunn's butt reeks right now. Like he probably just got out of shower and it still reeks. Oh. He goes in like if he when he did the radio station like. When he was doing this with us that one time, he yeah. would just get up and go to the bathroom just to, to wipe. wipe his ass. <laughs> you probably got some fucking polyps in that ass. What a fucking Ew, problem. man. <laughs> hey, he's got a girlfriend stuff. that loves that asshole. Ooh. When we were filming Haggard, when we were filming Haggard, he mooned the camera right after the take was done, and it was in slow motion. <laughs> he has the sickest, most infected pink bubble. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Does it just look like chewed bubble gum? Dude, oh, God. You, know, you, can, you can slide a fucking quarter in there, no problem. It's, it's just like, that big of a hole? You can, like, chuck a quarter in there. Oh, <laughs> it's just hollow? Yeah. Dunn's seen a few dicks in his day in that ass, I guarantee it. <laughs> He's probably a fake. Dunn's seen a few dicks up that ass. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> <laughs> he, he must have. I think he's gay anyway. Why is he taking the pictures to Barbados all the time? <laughs> Why is he going to Barbados all the time? He goes to Rehoboth Beach like every other week. <laughs>
<laughs> Dude's a Rehoboth's Beach local. <laughs> Rake's dad will, uh, he used to take Rake and Art to Rehoboth. That was their summer vacation spot. <laughs> The fucking biggest fag beach on the East Coast. What's the biggest fag beach? Rehoboth. Rehoboth. On the East Coast. No, yeah. no. Key West. Is that That's not on the coast. Dude, I went to Key. Yeah, yeah, it's on the coast. <laughs> the island? He's down at the Keys. Yeah, okay. Deco doesn't dude, Key West, West dude. I went yeah, to Key no, West, shit. man. That place Fuck is on West. fire, dude. Everybody there is just flaming. <laughs> on Yo, fire. You should probably go there because, like, all the dudes don't want any pussy. They just want cock. But will you take me there? <laughs> I'll go anywhere as long as he takes me. I have to be in his company to get lucky. I mean, I'm good looking. I got a good mouth. Oh, big. But he's still Ladies, deal. Slap the guy on my right and then look to me. That's what he always says. You know what okay, you need ladies, for Novak? Look to the left. Look to the God, left. I pray you get this. You ever see fucking, it's rare, I haven't seen it for years, but when like a dad is walking with his kid, you don't want him to get lost. They have like these Velcro bracelets Leasers. and it's a phone cord. So you have to get that oh, to keep dude. Novak in control. Yeah, Yo, man, I, I, there's, I was on the airplane and, like, some mom, like... <laughs> he's, he's I know, he got disgusted. He's all fucking disgusted. Like, this mom, <laughs> like, his, <laughs> his kid's <laughs> trying to run around. He's on a fucking leash. <laughs> oh, where, on his arm? No, like, like he had, like, a harness on his, like... Oh, my God. On his, like, stomach and all that. Jump. And, like, it was like a dog. I, was, like, <laughs> I told the lady, I'm like, are you... Kidding me? You really like, told her that? Yeah, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That's fucking retarded. That kid is gonna Good grow thing up. To see you your yeah, that kid is gonna be tweaked, man. He's gonna be pulling some like Michael Jackson ass shit when he Fuck gets older. Fuck yeah, he's just gonna hump everyone's leg like, and piss reason. all over. Fire hydrants. <laughs> what, they tie him up against a pole when they go in a store? Yeah, he's gonna go piss on fire hydrants. That's fucked up. Yeah, man. Yo, uh, fuck Key West. Why didn't you go to Mexico with me? I went to Cabo. Oh, man. I'm so bummed. I've, oh, I've never been there. It's like a fucking spring break resort. Girls getting naked and begging to fuck. That's what they want to do because they do it there and they leave it there. <laughs> Baking you know, the fuck. They leave it there. They don't come home to their boyfriends and tell them. So fucking, they buy me a plane ticket, come over and hand it to me, and I had to do the worst thing in my life. Hand it back. Because I can't go through customs. Few people are looking for me. I think you probably could have done it. It was pretty mellow. Yeah, but Mexicans. I got through. I didn't have my passport. I left it in there. Oh, oh, dude, the way to hear this. What? All right, I get my fucking. I forgot my passport. I was in L.A. for the Grammys, and uh, Lucky. I was going to Mexico the next day, and I didn't have a passport. So I got my birth certificate, FedEx, because that was the quickest thing I could do. Yeah. I finally get it to the hotel. I don't have any bags with me because I, I never travel with any luggage. So the fucking maid thinks that I checked out of the Argyle, what a and bitch. Uh, I'm looking around for like the. Notes that I did on Viva La Bam, like I watched five episodes, made major notes, and I had my birth certificate. She didn't throw them away. No, no there, nothing was in the room. I'm just like, where, uh, where the hell? I'm like looking all over the place. Then I called the front. I'm like, where's my stuff? Like, and then the maid's like, oh, we thought you checked out. I'm like, all right, well, I didn't check out. I'm here till like Thursday, and you know that it's in the computer. And uh, where's my shit? She's like, well, we threw it away. I'm like, well, go fucking find it. That's yeah, my birth right? certificate, and I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. So. Here I am watching this maid dig through the dumpster in the back of the Argyle for like two hours, like in the dumpster looking for, because I'm like flipping the fuck out, and uh, finally she finds it. It's soaked in cranberry and vodka, uh, like just all kinds of sick trash water, and like ew. there was like a little piece of tuna fish on it, like uh, <laughs> it was disgusting, dude. Uh, Did you keep it? I smell like me. Yeah, I had to. I had to take it on there, dude. The, I, I, the, the Mexican yeah, this guy, guy thought I was nuts. They're like. Why is your birth certificate have a red tint to it? Bam oh. goes to the fucking uh, MVA at least once every two weeks to get a new ID. Always loses it. So his form of identification is a Viva La Bam DVD. <laughs> he takes it Where's to the, he the MBA. Yeah, mate. Uh, MVA, man. Come on. What's that? <laughs> it's the Motor Vehicles Association. I never heard of that. Maybe DMV. That DMV, that's an idiot. Well, they have MVA in Maryland. Damn, these guys are tough. But fucking, he, bring, <laughs> he brings a fucking DVD everywhere he goes. It's me, it's me. Just because I don't have my, my license, I, I keep losing it. So, like, when, when I need to get in the bar and, like, some old guy doesn't recognize me or whatever, like, I, I have to bring, like, a, I had a newspaper clipping that I had in the Hummer <laughs> that I had to use. And it said my age on it, like, Brian Margera of 25 of Westchester, Pennsylvania. I'm like, look, it says 25. I'm good. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I think he just oh, likes yeah. showing off. Yeah, right, faggot. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Like, that'd be the last person to ever want to show off. <laughs> <laughs> this dude brings DVDs to the bar and just, like, sits in front of him. Like, he might need to be working on him. Only so chicks. Yeah, right. right you fucking he lie. did it two nights ago at the bar. Oh, how about Don Vito and Antonio's? <laughs> oh, this is the funniest thing I ever saw in my life. <laughs> These fans coming. We're at Antonio's. We're eating with Vito. And, uh, he, carried, he always has his own Sharpie to sign autographs. And, like... 
he was he signed the autograph and like he was talking to the lady and he's like, "What? You don't have a camera? Go get a camera!" Like he wanted him. He to was the man who to take a picture. It of him. didn't make sense. What? <laughs> It makes sense to a fat guy who had nothing really before, and now he's famous. It makes sense to that guy. I, I, I can dig it, man. Yeah, hanging out with your dad, fucking crap. Bad Jerome. How's Jerome, man? So I'm playing I a song. I wish we could get Jerome live. I'm playing a song phone, just man. for that. Should we call Jerome after this? You can't call fucking Baltimore Fan Street. You're a Baltimore liar. I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing the Dandy Warhols, and this song's called The Last High, devoted to <laughs> Novak and his dad. Yeah. It's yeah. so sad. It's the Radio Bam Series 28. The last high is the worst. Turn up the hi-fi, kids. Holy Lord, God, Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes. Because you're listening to Radio Band. Turn it off. Serious 28 faction. Oh, yes, that's Novak's daddy. I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, my God, it's so hot. Hot as Key West. My son is such a piece of shit. He followed my footsteps back to a house that was boarded up. Because I ruined it. Oh, God, I pissed that away. Why don't you piss your dreams away, Novak? Listen to my tug roll. Arr, Novak, Haram Zana Novak. Oh, oh, sounds of Novak are like this. Oh, oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, oh. How the fuck could your dad manage to light a whole entire house on fire with well, smoking he crack? He kept smoking crack over and over again. So slowly but surely the house went to shit, the windows got busted out, it got boarded up. And then one he day he dropped a beautiful nine hundred thousand dollar house. I'd love to and know. He said he lit it on fire. Yeah, we should go look yeah. at it one day. Tell me I, I understand that he pissed the house away and lost yeah. it and everything. I understand he's crazy <laughs> on crack, but tell me crazy on crack. I how do the windows get broken? <laughs> like what I'm goes guess, on? That the, well, I'm the guessing that uh, people b broke them out. They, he always, oh, they broke in. He oh, no, they didn't break in. There's nothing to steal. He out. always <laughs> fucking owes people money. Always owes drug dealers money or fucking crazy prostitutes or barroom whores that he runs with and smokes crack with. So finally, this is how he was finally evicted from the house. He kept calling the police on himself because he smokes crack and he gets all paranoid and thinks people are coming after him. So after about five trips from the police, they said, <laughs> sir, you are nuts. And they took him to an insane asylum. I'd love to see a picture of the people he thinks are coming after him. Dude, he thinks that these people <laughs> like, are coming like, for like We got to like create like an image on the computer like just to see who was after him. Yo, do you think that your dad is seriously like mentally nuts? Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Like he's just fucked he's up. He did so much drugs. God. I mean, I kind of <laughs> admire it, but shit. <laughs> Dude, too much I, is just not good. Right? I think, like, people who, who, like, they say people who take uh, acid more than seven times are, like, they're legally insane. I, I kind of agree with that because, dude, that's like, it, like, shifts your brain into like a new way of thinking it's so bad for you like you know? before you take seven hits of acid uh this wall is red you take seven hits of acid i see the shades of purple with a dim blue coming in it's fucking red but your mind's so distorted you can't get it right you know it's insane it's this ridiculous. is what i picture I, you guys can't see it but that's what i picture <laughs> it looks like jason no that's that it's like some warthog man with like a pimp hat and a feather like <laughs> How do I explain this picture? Okay, it's it's like a, a tweaked looking guy with a snout. And uh, he has fangs for teeth. One eye is Chinese and the other one is huge. And he has a Robin Hood hat on with a feather. And one ear. That's who's chasing the best. <laughs> That's why he's just saying that. We saw guys like that looking for him. Let's send him this picture watching Freak Out. <laughs> It's him! God, God! No, Brad! I mean, oh, it's a rope! It's him! He's back! Uh, uh, Robin Hood snout man! <laughs> Robin Hood snout man! Uh, yeah. Look at that snout! I'm gonna break all your windows out! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Let's picture, let's, let's picture Jerome's call to the uh, to the police station when he was all hopped up on crack. Ready? You're Jerome, and I'm the police. You call more police station. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 ambulance, firehouse, this, oh my God! The snow man is chasing me all around my house. I have all this crack. I have stuff in my house. He's trying to get. Oh my God! Look at his hat. It's weird. Oh, oh listen to him. He can. Shh, shh. I think I can hear him coming through my. Yeah, they stuff. do that shit. <laughs> Mr. Novak! 
The police officer is still on the line listening to that jargon. He's trying to make sense of that conversation. <laughs> and in his mind, he's perfectly sane and he really sees this. I'm perfectly sane. If you only listen, he's right around the corner. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, what's this? A broken window? A wheelchair? Oh, Daddy, your legs will fit right inside that old rusty chair. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I don't understand you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Beast Man Skeletor's after him. <laughs> I don't understand Vito's way of thinking either, oh, man. Fuck. Asking He's fans not. for like photos, like break the story down. Dude, break the story down. Don't don't people like who are on television dodge that shit? <laughs> uh, Vito, dude, let's call him. Down. Let's, let's just call him and ask him. Right. Oh, yeah. while this, you're calling, I was him. embarrassed by being with them. Why are you mm -hmm. calling him? I just want to say. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yo! Yo! Hey, what the hell's going on? You're on the goddamn radio station, serious radio. Hey, I'm on the goddamn radio station. I'm sitting here in my house. <laughs> are you in your underwear? No, I'm watching, getting ready to watch TV. Are you watching the Paris Hilton porn? No, even a band. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's no porn ain't on it. It's regular TV. Stop Don, name dropping. Don Vito, don't you have five televisions in your room? No, I got three now because they rearranged my room miles away. <laughs> what happened to the other two? I don't fucking know. I went away and they come back and they took you away. Here's your mom. Hey, tell me you had five televisions. One was voted, uh, devoted strictly to sports. What, the other one was devoted to the DVD player. The other one was devoted to the VHS player. The other one was uh, devoted strictly to the Columbo. I can watch three football games if I want to And the last one was devoted nothing but porn. <laughs> now, so why are you making up lies? Why would you have me on the radio? Where the hell do you use that? Because it's not a lie. We're on the radio. Everybody in Max McGee's and Max Millions could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Vito, do you have a Sharpie in your pocket right now? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Does you always have a Sharpie? I do. I always carry one now. Why well, can't you use someone else's? If the more annoying it's no one else, I'd be out there. Where you at? Your stupid studio? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it stupid? Because it's in a stupid place. I have pictures of you in here. It's not in New York. I don't, I've never been there. I don't know what you're doing here. You're a bunch of nuts. And then you, now you're calling here while I'm trying to watch TV. What are you watching? I don't know, I think I'm watching Survivor. I think that's coming on. You'd never yeah. make... Yeah. yeah. MTV don't have nothing on right now. You'd never make it on that show, Vito. I got three of the channel. I don't know what you want to watch right now. <laughs> you can never survive on Survivor. I would. Vito. That's a lot of weight. I lost 60 pounds. I know you lost 60 pounds. You told me 80 today. <laughs> you told me 80. You're a chronic guys. liar. Who's a liar? You're a Chester liar. <laughs> just, just, like uh, you're, just like you're allowed to drink beer. It's not what we hear. That's right, I think I'm in a fucking bubble now, because I had those stupid public problems. I'm all better now, all the cars are healed up. Yeah, right, you're man. lying! You go to these stupid autograph signings, these drunk broads jump on you, and they start bouncing up and down on your cut open stomach. If you go back to the hospital one more time, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be good so it's always completely healed another month and it'll be healed all the way. So that means you're no... Yeah, not if you keep going to the goddamn uh, autograph signings drinking beers and shit. I like three beers. That ain't no big deal. <laughs> Booth is a big deal. Look at my toes and everything. And now you're lying to Booth. Booth says you're not allowed to have a beer. Doesn't matter. When you see a girl look at my toes, you gotta have a beer. Believe me. Tell you so. <laughs> Yo, Vito, I had some fast company last night. <laughs> Kind of fast company. The only kind there is. The bitch was 18. Yeah, kind of lesbians. I heard all the crazy stuff she's doing over there. The bitch was 18, Vito. But well, she, that's old enough. She fucked like she was 32 in her prime. <laughs> what the hell did you do? Beat her up? No. Did you have anal sex? Yeah. Did you? Did you? Yeah. And you're just sick people, ain't you? And then you know where I came? You're filthy. You just met her two oh, hours ago, and now you're helping her in the butt. That's the kind of girls I like. You like the sluttiest women. Dude, I want a girl that's... You're infecting people with your disease, the world's dumbest criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Vito. Vito, would you rather would you rather live and die at uh, the Glitter Gulch or Mustang Salad? <laughs> glitter Gulch. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. The glitter, glitter Gulch is better. What's Mustang the Glitter Gulch? Salad is nice too around here. It's the best place around here. 
Vito, would you, would, would you, go to the firehouse in Chester. What if I pay? What if I paid a room at the? What if I paid a room at the? Uh, at the uh, Sentinel. Bellagio um, in Vegas for you for a year. I didn't even walk in a place, but I will not act. That's too nice for you? Go downtown. What kind of place do you like? Downtown. You like downtown? Here. Downtown is where you go. Cheap downtown. Downtown. What's downtown? downtown? This city, you go downtown. It's a lot cheaper. The Glitter Gulch is downtown. Glitter Gulch, you were down there. Remember, they had all them little words on the outside. <laughs> On the outside. Why are they on the outside? I'm showing them off like on big TV. Yeah. How to do that in Vegas? Vito always has to top a story. It's not a I... little free thing out there. There's other stuff to do too, you know. Why do you hate Circus Circus? I don't hate Circus. It's got a little stupid kids and they got little clowns running around. Yeah, right. That was in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's that's. Really like yeah. Yeah. Remember Vito? You wanted to do this? Yeah. The trapeze people. I don't know what the hell they're doing up there. Yo, Vito. What? Does Colombo get boners? Because he get what, a boner? Yeah. He hooks up sometimes and then he's his Ew, why are you looking at that? The little coat that he has, whatever you call that thing, trench coat. Are you in the trench coat mafia? I've been in the mafia before, huh? <laughs> You're a liar. I heard once you get in, you can't get out. You're lying. It's, Eagles, bro. <laughs> it's like It's like a smorgasbord. You're in it. I'm Italian in here, so you better watch yourself. Were you in the mafia when you were getting blowjobs at AOK Auto Body? <laughs> About that, so you can't be talking to kill you if I tell you. Tell us about now, the body shop. Tell about the body shop. Vito, do, isn't there a porno of you out there somewhere? There's pornos all over the place from back in the day. No, of you in it. I'm in them. I'm in about 20 of them. Tell us about the body shop. Can I have one? No, you can't have it because you put it on the internet or something. I was in shape back then. It didn't matter. Me and my buddy used it. Vito, you were never in shape. You were never in shape, <laughs> fat boy. You're lying like a rug. Oh, man, you go to them 10 cent wing joints and you have 80 of them. <laughs> What? Wings. Which one was that? <laughs> that's a, that's fat. why you're fat. You're never in shape. I was in shape. I was in the national park. I was in 180. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're a liar. Come, I want you to drive over right now and show me a photo. Like I'm lying? Yeah. Fax me a photo, yeah, you yeah, liar. Yeah, for like 20 years, I got to 360. Then something happened to my stomach. Now I'm down to 260 again. Fax me a photo, liar. You see it before I showed it to you when I was in you the national park. I weighed 180 pounds. Yeah, right. If, if you weigh 180 pounds... You're going to be a fat pig when you grow your hair up. Fat pig. This is what he called himself. <laughs> you're going to be a fat pig too when you grow up. Yeah, you eat like an animal anymore. We go to the gym every day, you know? Yeah. Animal, right? If you weigh 180 pounds during one of them pointers, I would fly you. Then you get old goddamn plates, then you start eating other people's plates. You're lying. Didn't you eat for three days? I probably didn't eat for three days. Doesn't anybody feed you over there? No, there's no food over here. Tell her to come. What, can you have booth for you? Come on, you go buy a bicycle. Just deliver. Acme delivers now. The Acme will deliver to you. Acme. 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 Acme delivers. Yeah, the Acme delivers. <laughs> it's Acme, Vito. The Acme. All the old Italians tell the Acme. Don't you tell me about what Stop it's about. Stop acting like you're Italian. Italian. Vito, you're tell Italian. me. If you had to eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? The real scallopini, you should know that. And Budweiser to drink. <laughs> Favorite. Used to be chicken wings, but real scallopini is good, man. Would you would you get a shower uh, that, that spit out Budweiser because you love it so much? If it, if I got it installed for you, yeah, it was so cool nice. You could drink it while you were bathing. Yeah, it'd be nice. That'd be a nice little it. just It'd be nice. Out of, out of a goldfish spout. <laughs> would you sit in the tub and drink your own pill? Ew. Yeah. What the? What are you losing your mind? Yes, you would. <laughs> you would too. Oh, cool. Why would you even get a bath? It was a dirty stuff you hanging around with. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the bathtub. What are you? Oh, the hell you, you gotta get showers. Yo, Vito, our girls are nowhere near as dirty as the young one that had sex with you yeah, last week. Yeah, you have nice girls. It's just the way you handle them. It's like do the dirty stuff. <laughs> I heard about all the ass. These are in the ass for some reason. Who's the dirty, that? shitty stuff. Who's know, into that? Novak? Just spin them around. Turn them around. Turn them around. <laughs> Turn them around. <laughs> Turn them around. You're at the right spot. Nice hey, Vito, I have to play a song. Can you introduce it? And then we gotta go. Alright, which song is it? CKY? Say it's the Turbo AC. AC. Listen, asshole! He never can, listens. Can you do this? Who the fuck is it? You're talking over me on my own radio station. Well, who the fuck are you playing? I'm, I'm gonna tell you, asshole, if you just listen. <laughs> okay, you say Turbo ACs and the song's called Desperate, just like you. <laughs> turbo who? Turbo Negroes. Turbo. <laughs> turbo ACs. Turbo who? ACs? Yeah, like air conditioning. Yeah, I never heard of such a band. Let me hear this song. Maybe I'll like it. Just say it. They don't care if you like it. Like you. Too much. All right, I'll, I'll say the fucking band because you're uncapable. And all you have to say is Radio Bam Series 28 Faction. That's all you got to say, okay? 
I need a goddamn speakerphone and it's coming out there. <laughs> All there is just says Radio Band Faction 28. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but I gotta say the song first. All uh, right, this is Turbo ACs and the song is called Desperate On. Radio Band <laughs> Faction 28. What the hell? So tell me all about that. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Fat Boy, I'm going. Later. Uh, faction, baby. I guess. Now back to Radio Band. Oh, yeah, I got down that. How the fuck I know back guess? I am the Max Dad, I am the I do a radio bam sales study at your note before, but now it's mine. Uh, my son and me, uh, uh, he's going to donate his precious leg to mine. Shut the fuck up, Novak, you pig. I didn't say a word. <laughs> Novak. What? What, you what, Digo, what? I got him worked up a little bit. Fine. You get me riled up over here. Yeah, I'm going to get you all worked up, Novak. Why could please do? just listen to me? He just talked over me the whole conversation. <laughs> no, I know. He's the, the worst. Does that. He is the worst at having a conversation with. Because there's no way but his way. He's so fucking stubborn, too. Well, you take after him. You're fucking stubborn as shit, man. This dude can be going in the wrong direction for hours. We'll pass 20 Wawa's where at least 80 maps are in each Wawa. And fuck if he'll stop. No, uh, don't. I'm like, bam, shut over. No, go straight. He says he's lost. We know we're lost. But he's going the way that he thinks he it is. And will not buy a map. He's so fucking stubborn. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, because then I'll pull in the Wawa, somebody getting gas and want me to talk to their fucking nephew, and then I got to sit there and chit chat and lolly gag and wait for their, like, uncle to come over so we can get pictures taken. I agree, that happens a lot, but that takes 10 minutes. We're going to take five hours trying to find the place, so if you wait the options. Five out, hours, that's a little bit too long. The, you, you would never still turn around. You're just stubborn, man. So you have V, that's where you're from, I think. Yeah, because they're all from Chichester. Are you? You're not from Chichester originally, are you? No, I'm from, I'm from Riddle. <laughs> you Riddle. are you are a Riddle. <laughs> from Fuck Grand River Mall Hospital? Where are you from, faggot? For what? Are you from Westchester? What 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 hospital? Yeah. The Grand River Mall Hospital. That's the one I'm from. Yeah, me too. Of yeah, course. You're so I love the arcades at the Grand River Mall. Which is back. <laughs> is it back? Yeah, it's back. It's got Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah. Try to touch that. Faggot ass. When was the last time you were there? Two weeks ago. Playing Mortal Kombat? Ass. I didn't I did play. Nobody was to play. Nobody wanted to play? Nobody was in the arcade. <laughs> Nobody goes to the arcade. All these little fucking brats play their fucking online crap. How do you deal with it? Remember when the Grand Room Mall was hopping and there was all these people in the arcade? It was like the place to be. Now it just seems like a depressing shithole. Now it's gone badly downhill. It's fucking horrible. Dude. Really? It's fighting to make a comeback, but it will sink into the depths. It's fucking garbage. I, I still love it though. I, I hear strip it. joints are the place to be now. Remember Aladdin's castle? Oh, fuck yeah. Did you like it? What a scam. Tokens. Who the fuck wants that shit? To yeah, tokens are horrible. That sucks. Why do they do that? Because they want you to... You cash a dollar and play one game, they know you're coming back with that other 75 token. <laughs> I got into video stupid. games. I hate, I hate video games. Yeah, I, I, when you installed Pac-Man in here... I was addicted to that. I I, I I missed like my LA flight like on purpose just because just I didn't. Want, of I didn't want to go to California. I can play, I, I we, I play to... Pac-Man the night at the bar. Remember? Had a yeah. blast. Yeah, it's all. I like them simple games. Yeah, though. it's very simple Tetris and shit. Like, it's not like finding that. weapons and secret doors. Yeah, I, I hate that. Like uh, those games when it takes like eight days to conquer and like you need to like special code find this and then read all this text yeah. at the bottom to figure yeah. out where you gotta go. It's like, dude, just let me play the damn game. Give me a race car game or something. I don't care. Yeah, racing's fun as shit. When yeah. you go to arcade and there's two cars and you sit next to your buddy and you race. I love that. Just feeding people. You like to sit next to your buddies, don't you? Yeah, I like, ah. Any chance to sit next to a hot guy, sign me up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Beating fools down at Mortal Kombat. That's the best. I, I know what you're, the game that you hate the most is. That I hate the most? Yeah. Oh, God. Tell me so I can take Tee off golf. Oh, I fucking hate that golf. Oh, and yeah. the one that, that in every bar? Game. Every bar always has it, like every bar. Ryan's Pub and stuff. I'm like, you go, this video game, what's that? I'm playing tee off golf. I don't golf. blame you, man. Shit, that there's, ain't no fucking There's game, always dude. 80 frat boys surrounding it. When the majority of players are over 40, <laughs> yeah. it ain't a fucking arcade game anymore, dude. That shit sucks. Fucking pound it in your Dico, head. what would you do if they washed all the fucking games off the earth? I, I still got Mortal Kombat in the basement. I'm saying everything's gone. I shoot you. That's my only <laughs> relief from you, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Where's all your arcade games? In the basement. All of them? No, I sold a bunch back to the auction. Did you make some good money or no? I got probably like four hundred dollars over it, break it even. So it's like I got a free rental for all those years. Well how much did you get specifically? We want numbers. 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we went numbers. We went numbers. <laughs> like, I care so much about the exact I probably have you got. eight games left. That's it. How much money do you have in the bank? <laughs> yeah, what do you, yeah let's, let's get all honest here, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what I got. How much money do you have in the bank? I have about, I think, maybe 50 cents on my dresser upstairs to my name. Really? Maybe, yeah. You have a bank? A few account? dimes laying on the floor and shit. Fuck, not a bank. If there's a dime right there, would you just claim it? Nah. I'm good. I don't know what. Maybe. If I needed smokes, I'd come down and get it. What yeah, if it was on tails? Yeah, I went with Bam the other day to buy these papers. Did you care if it was on tails? Yeah, I don't do that. I don't pick them up. Were you serious? I swear to God. What if it was a quarter? Doesn't matter. What if you needed one quarter to get a pack of smokes? I would pick it up, yes. You don't pick up the tails? No. It's the best side to pick up. Yeah, I went with the millionaire Bam here the other day to buy these papers. He pulls out a platinum credit card to spend like 500 bucks. I pull out five dollars and quarters to buy cigarettes. He was so embarrassed standing next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's like buying cigarettes, he's counting out dimes and nickels and shit. They fucking hate that shit when you do that, bro. Dude, once I went to the bar here way long time ago before anybody had any money, so like I was just trying to buy a drink. It's usually bad buy me drinks. And I go to the bar, 15 North, and I'm like, let me get a vodka and cranberry. He puts it up. I put five dollars and quarters on the bar. He got so pissed, he fucking slid the quarters <laughs> on the ground at me and just walked away. But at least I got the drink, so it was worth it. You got the drink? Yeah, he left Dude, the drink. this fucking idiot last night. Oh, you, God. You know where the cop hangs out at right at Fairman's? They just sit there and, yeah, yeah. and watch people go through stop signs? Yeah. Well, I pull up right there. I get a parking spot. This idiot's drinking a Coors Light in the car. So, so like, he sets it down. I'm like, dude, he, I don't want him to look in the car. Just, just like, don't. Like put a towel over it or something like that. So I'm thinking he's putting a towel on it. The idiot just throws it on the ground and then like walks off. And the cop like puts his lights on, comes up. He's just like, I'm like, oh, what the fuck did I do? Like, you know. And then he's just like, what are you littering in your own town? Pick up that can. And I look over and it's blatantly a Coors Light can. I'm like, oh, dude, we're fucking dead. And he, the guy didn't even. He just thought it was. He a was very nice about it. it. Yeah, it he's all nervous like about it. I'm about it, but it wasn't that big of a deal, man. Why? It is a big deal. Because they think that I'm going around Westchester littering and shit. It, no, because you didn't do it. He saw me do it. Yeah. yeah dressed my, like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was with him. Dude, that's the thing. Like, if, if I if apologize. I, no, I'm saying. Times. If I go into, like, let's say Kildare's with me and my crew, if, if like, a fight breaks out or something like that or something happens, it's not some random guy going to fight. It's like, yeah, bam. Bam and his boys came in here. Yeah, I understand your point like, there. Like, it's always my fault, even if I had nothing to do with it. I can understand that, but it was a simple mistake, and uh, it's in the past. Why would he throw a cord like <laughs> Yo, speaking of bars and getting, getting into fights and shit, how about when we went to Coyote and I got fucking headlocked, drug out, and spit in the face? By who? The bouncer. <laughs> he spit in your face. He spit right in my face. Why? What'd you do? Because I walk in with Bam. When you're with Bam, you just get away with shit, man. So I walk in. I got a hat on. He has a hat on. We walk past three doormen. There are no problems. They say nothing about my hat nor his. I get up. I'm a bit drunk, so I stumble my way to the bathroom. I have this chick help me to the bathroom. And I come out. He says, take your hat off. I take it off. And no, I didn't take it off. I was drunk being an asshole. I'm like, well, talk to the guy up there because he said it's fine, which he really did. The next thing I know, the fucking frat bitch got me in a headlock, dragging me out. Gets me outside, throws, body slams me on the ground, leans down in my face and spits right in my face, man. <laughs> oh, dude, I felt this big. How do you just take your fucking hat off? You have hair. At least I have a fucking excuse. Yeah, but when you already have a hat on, you take your hat off, your hair looks like a fucking <laughs> I ripped my cake. <laughs> I remember you went to the Chadsford, t- uh, no, the Chadsford Inn, and uh, you had a nice suit on and everything, and you had a backwards baseball cap Yeah. On. I did that at Dilworth one time. I had a fucking suit on and my hat. And they were like, oh, can we take your hat? I was like, nope. And it was the best move because they didn't want anyone to sit near me. So they put me a body in this fucking room by herself. I was like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Digo loves to be alone. Fuck yeah. I hate when you go into the restaurant and there's like two people in there. And then they'll sit you right next to them. So you have to listen to their and conversation. Nobody else around. Yeah, it's like the yeah. biggest... They did that to me at P.F. Chang's the other day. I'm like, why do I have to sit right next to you? I want to go sit over there. Like, yeah, like, sit me fucking over there so why I can Why do they do mouth. that? If you're a waiter... Just, just because waiters out, have man. sections. Yeah, they close off sections, that's why. Oh, that's why? Yeah. I used to be a waiter. They, they, they tried to shit up shit. I got commission. I got money left on the table that other waiters are supposed to get. I'd pocket their tips and shit. And I'd fuck half the other waitresses. Living great scumbag job. legend. Was it a great job? I loved it, dude. Every wait- waiter job I had, I always fucked another waitress there. You always get pussy from work. Jobs are a great place to get pussy. Yeah, Dico, as you fart in the microphone. My microphone. <laughs> it's my microphone. <laughs> it's not even mine. <laughs>
I think it's time to go. Oh. Yeah, go, go fucking drop a load. I got a crap so bad. <laughs> I'm going to drop off my Guinness beef stew. I got to go hop yeah. on a flight to L.A. I'm going to try to drop a different load. So I'll be back in two days. Ooh, I'm, I'm home going alone again? A, I'm going to see a hymn concert. I'm home alone again? Are you? Yeah, and then Hanoi Rocks is playing right after yeah. that. Can I'm raging. I'm it? bringing them strippers up here from Baltimore while you're gone. Yeah, right. You're not allowed to bring anybody <laughs> he in He gets so home. serious. Hey, can I hunt him with a paint gun if he tries to bring anyone in here? Please do. <laughs> oh, it is hard, boy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say goodbye. Say goodbye, you two idiots. <laughs> oh, this is Mr. Novak saying goodbye. Ah. All right, goodbye. I love you. <laughs> and then I'm going to see him live in concert. Thank I'm going to play a him live song called... And Hanoi Rocks. Please Don't Let It Go. And it's the rock version. It fucking kicks hair. <laughs> right, Tika? <Deacon? laughs> Tika, what radio station is this? I don't know. What is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, like oh Sierra 28 Fashion, yeah. <laughs> radio Bam. Lick Novak's ass. Ha ha. Radio Bam. That's Radio Bam for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. Every you can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam. Radio Band, every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Band. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Band at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Band at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28, Faction.